happening now, finding ways to make up for fundraisers canceled because of the pandemic. It's leaving a lot of nonprofits, especially the small ones with budget gaps. Bill Folsom live tonight with a closer look at this issue. Bill. Yeah, the Trails and Open Space Coalition, it is a good example. They're holding a new kind of fundraiser this weekend. It's to offset their largest fundraiser of the summer that did not happen this year because of distancing. They missed out on tens of thousands of dollars. Trail use pushed up to unprecedented levels because of COVID-19. While the virus also prevented the popular and largest fundraiser of the year for the Trails and Open Space Coalition. A fun event. We'd get close to a thousand people outdoors, all on bikes at night in costumes. It was just such fun and it was a $70,000 event and it went away. It's close to 30% of the budget. The largest, also not the only fundraiser, canceled. A lot of nonprofits like ours have these fairly large holes and none of us want to let staff loose. We still have a mission. We still have work to do. Some creative thinking is behind what's being called the Urban Trail Challenge, an evolution of Bikes on Trails fundraiser. You sign up, get instructions, report results and find out winners all online. We don't call it virtual because people are going to out be out doing this bike ride. They just won't do it with a thousand people. Trail pros have created 20 courses on urban trails. You and whoever you feel COVID safe cycling with go out and explore as many as you can over the weekend. It's not timed, but you can compete. And then we're creating some of these challenges so that people can dress up or they can have pictures taken next to a cool piece of artwork. And at the end, we're going to have some grand prizes. Registration is right now for the event this weekend. The fee for registration is less than half of that larger event. That's good news if you're participating, but for the coalition, it means the money they make will not even be close to that larger fundraiser. They say at this point, something is way better than nothing. Watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Bill Folsom, News 5.